Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love read. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Thank you for being here. So I'm going to do a love read for you Aries. Thank you for tuning into my channel. So I'm going to ask Spirit to focus on your love message. Angel Spirits guys, please show us Aries. Their love and relationship reading. I was just wondering if a cardinal and a cardinal can work. Aries with a Cancer, with a Capricorn, with a Libra, or does a cardinal sign, which is the initiator, the spring, somebody springing into action, does that person need a grounded energy, like a Taurus, a fixed sign? Or does the fixed sign in a love relationship hold the cardinal back? I don't know. Uh, or does it keep you grounded? Or does it, or does it uh, keep you down? Like which which way would that go? So, would I don't know. So let's see. Eight of Cups. Unsatisfied, wanting wanting your wishes, wanting your your dreams, feeling like this isn't my dream. <laughs> this isn't my wish. What the heck? Okay. What's behind it? Oh, you want so much more. Five of Cups and Truth. Somebody's got a terrible attitude here with the Five of Swords. They could be thinking about a past person, a past relationship, where possibly the person was paying for their paying for stuff um okay show us it looks like you could be dealing with someone who deal who's in stuck in the past but let's see aries love life there is a page of earth taurus capricorn this energy is showing up as a messenger offering something real giving something of real value Somebody here is being very serious. They could be saying no, cutting someone off. Um, could be you cutting someone off. Six of air, avoiding conflict, staying out of conflict. The root of the issue is not wanting to argue, not wanting to fight. Yeah, seven of coin, thinking about the investment of time, money, real investment into something, wanting to grow. Two of Swords, air energy, caught up in your head, feeling conflicted, trying to make a decision. Tower, wow. The world. You are very, um, you didn't get here overnight, so you didn't get to this place in two days. You got to this place because you went through a lot and now you're here and your energy wants to expand. There is someone around you who is living in fear or they feel trapped. Wow, again, Aries, you want to be the magician. You want to manipulate, you want to solve problems, you want to fix, you know, you know you can have anything you want. We have the Six of Wands, the victory, the hero, somebody who's getting attention from other people, Leo energy. Somebody who's being seen and recognized by others. Okay, let's see. What's Aries' outcome for their love life? The future is showing a shakeup. Seven of Swords. Okay, somebody is trying to avoid confrontation. They have some information and they're trying to avoid talking about it. Feelings of being stuck or having to surrender. 
What is Aries in the world for? Okay, you get the truth. Clarity, truth, news, information, new ideas. It is a victory over defeat. What is the Eight of Swords for the person around? They feel trapped. They're in a prison of their own mind. Knight of Swords. This person is stressed out. They could have anxiety. You're wanting to be the magician. How do you want to fix it? You want to tell them, Queen of Air. You want to instruct or give advice or be direct. You want to be brutally honest. Four of Wands is here. There's stability, there's happiness, time off, family, spending time together. What is the tower here about? Because there is something here about chemistry, relationships, choices. What is the Two of Swords? Wow, Three of Swords, Four of Cups. Somebody is not paying attention, ignoring, causing distance or space. You may not know why. Okay, there is Sagittarian energy here, or this calls for patience. Why is somebody around you all caught up in air energy, their thoughts and facts and information? The devil. Okay. Negativity. There could also be a water sign. There could be someone around them coming towards them, tempting Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody coming towards them, showing them love or wanting to express their love to someone. It could be a mom too, a mother. The wheel is here. Destiny and change. Okay. You get the truth. What is the Ace of Swords? What is the truth? What is the Ace of Swords? Five of Coin. You feel left out in the cold or you feel like somebody's not contributing, not putting in enough. Leo energy takes courage and strength. What is Seven of Swords? Why is it here? Why is somebody not being honest? King of Water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Somebody's getting a lot of attention from other people. Could be online, could be just in life in general. They feel like all eyes are on me. There could also be a, a Ten of Pentacles. There could also be a secret admirer, somebody who uh, wants to come towards you. Nine of Swords, somebody stressed out. They don't know what to do. They're trying to make a decision. They don't know what to do. Why is there a three of swords here? Okay, somebody here wants to walk away. They feel unhappy. They want to break free from a situation. It could also be a person here can't deal with stress or um, a lot of fear, a lot of temptation, um, impulsiveness, page of wands. Somebody wants to go out and party. Okay, so the person around you is dealing with temptation, toxic energy, um, obsession. They could have someone obsessed. Now, I feel like they did it to themselves. If they are so stressed out because they have some kind of toxic connection or the chariot, cancer, somebody's coming towards, then page of coin. They're very determined. This, this earth sign um, could be Capricorn. They're very determined to come towards. And this is a test of your patience. Um, it makes you 
as the Aries feel like this is out of balance. Um, there's a lot of texting or messaging going on. Why is the devil here? Okay, it makes someone start to feel like they need to do something right away impulsively. Okay, the devil is toxic energy or limitations, controlling, obsession. Um, there could be this person coming towards your person who there's a person here who is stressed out isolated alone they lash out because there's another person here it makes them feel like they want to go somewhere else there could also be another situation here where someone wants to come towards you and they are thinking about you and they want to come towards you with a commitment it could be that you caught someone's eye. Look at somebody is all eyes on me and this is causing heartbreak for another person. Here somebody's lashing out. Six of Cups. There is a friend or a person here who's coming in between. Yeah, the High Priestess. It's a secret. It is like very quiet and secretive, not talked about. Virgo energy here with the Hermit. And the Death card, wow. This could be changing everything in the situation. What is this death about here? King of Wands and Ten of Cups. Long-term commitment, there could be a Taurus or a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, long-term emotional commitment. There could also be a change. It shows like you as as the Aries feel like something is off, like there's something where someone's not giving. It's like they're only taking, but they're not paying back. They're not giving back. And there is this toxic energy, temptation, person around who is coming forward pretty strongly. They may have cancer in their chart. They're very determined to come towards the environment, offering emotions and feelings, expressing how they feel. Um, it makes someone feel like all eyes are on me. There is a water sign energy here. Wow. Okay. There's an empress. Somebody could be curious, spying, watching. It could be any Taurus, but it could be somebody who is um, wealthy. They could have money. Um, this could be some kind of like stalker as well. But it makes on your mind is you feel like you want to walk away from the whole situation. I almost called it a mess. Very strong, powerful feelings coming from this Empress. Ten of Wands, heavy burdens. And again, it's like, I feel like I want out of here. I don't even want to be in this. I want out. I want a divorce. Or I want, this needs to be made fair. There is something here unfair. There's an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Or somebody with money. They could be a gold digger. I hate to say that word, but it looks like they could be a gold digger. And somebody here feels like they lost. Like... They lost you or they lost the other person um, yeah so there is something here that was toxic all right let's get out the Lenormand <laughs> what have we got here for you Aries at least you get the truth and you get the world so this will be a very successful completion of this cycle whatever this was Sly Fox, Fox in the Hen House, Destiny, okay, Fantasy, somebody's daydreaming or there's a fantasy.
coming out of a storm. Somebody is scrutinizing, looking at something very closely. And what else? The moon, something that's hidden in the dark. And the nest. And time is of the essence. Somebody is under pressure for time. There is something here where you need to find your true north. I feel like you need to just do what's best for you. We have the Ten of Cups and the social life. This is being invited to a social gathering in public. There's a lot of love and support. You need to find your true north with that. There is the luck. Wow. All right, well, I'm going to leave it here for you, Aries. This is your love and relationship reading. There is something here around you that is either a toxic person. Are they meddling? Are they causing too much? Uh, they're taking a, the person's energy gets focused on, on someone else. Sagittarius or Earth sign. They feel like they have to do something right away, make a rapid decision. There are other people here involved. Look at this. This is almost like a harasser, like someone who harasses because somebody feels like they have to tell someone, like, stay away from me. They feel like they have to stand up for themselves. Like, don't harass me. Stay away from me. Like, why, you know... Um, it's a test of your patience, secrecy, somebody, wow. You could be being honest with someone, you know, saying, is there someone else in this situation? Um, The outcome is good though. There was a King of Cups, a Ten of Coin, long-term commitment, solid foundation, the death. There's a change here. Something is going to end. Somebody feels disappointed. They did have like a player energy about them, but this is going to end. I hate to say this word, like player got played, like some <laughs> somebody got played. The player got played. That's funny. But I will leave this here for you, Aries. Thank you for watching your love reading and take care.